Jimmy the Gent Film Jimmy the Gent is a 1934 American pre-code comedy crime film directed by Michael Curtis, starring James Cagney and Bette Davis and featuring Alan Jenkins. It was the first pairing of Cagney and Davis, who would reunite for The Bride Came C.O.D. seven years later. The screenplay by Bertram Milhauser was based on the story The Air Chaser by Ray Nazaro and Laird Doyle. Plot The unscrupulous Jimmy Corrigan James Cagney runs an agency that searches for heirs of those who have died without leaving a will and often provides phony claimants in order to collect his fee. When his former girlfriend Joan Martin Bette Davis, who left him because of his lack of ethics, accepts a position at the allegedly legitimate firm owned by Charles Wallingham Allen Dinehart. Corrigan investigates Wallingham's background and discovers his rival is even more duplicitous than he is. He exposes Wallingham as a phony and promises to go straight if Joan will come back to him. Cast Production Prior to its release, the film's working titles were Blondes and Bonds and The Air Chaser. Both Cagney and Davis considered Jimmy the Gent to be a throwaway studio assembly line quickie film, and neither was happy about the assignment. Cagney had the sides of his head shaved for the film, without the knowledge of either director Michael Curtis or studio unit head Hal B. Wallis. Curtis was stunned when he saw the haircut, and Wallis took it personally. Bette Davis did not appreciate it either, and refused to have publicity pictures taken with Cagney. Reception Jimmy the Gent did well at the box office, and the critical response was positive as well. In his review in the New York Times, Mordaunt Hall described the film as a brisk. He tackles the barbed argot of his lines with speed and force. Bette Davis is attractive and capable as Joan. Variety said Jimmy the Gent is expert, thoroughgoing, typically Cagney, and good for plenty of laughs.